In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export videos for TikTok. So as you guys know, TikTok plays vertical videos and you can easily film and post them from your phone. But if you are working within Premiere Pro, there's specific settings that we're going to be going over in this video. All right. So the first step is to just locate some footage. I am going to go ahead and drag in a video. And if you are shooting these videos, you know, professionally, they will look you know, horizontal. So we can go ahead and drag in a horizontal video and it can be kind of confusing because if we exported this video for TikTok as is, um, it wouldn't take up the full screen, right? It wouldn't look good. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change our sequence settings so that they match TikToks. So you're going to come up to the top left where it says sequence on the menu bar. And we're going to click on sequence settings. Now, if you don't see sequence settings, um, just go ahead and click it within your timeline. OK, because if we're clicked within our project, for example, and we come up to sequence, we won't be able to click sequence settings because Premiere doesn't know um, what we want to change. We need to make sure that we click within our timeline so that we can tell Premiere, yo, we're trying to change the settings within Premiere. All right. Within this timeline. So then we'll see the sequence settings option. And what we want to do is we want to change the, the frame rate to whatever your video is, let's say 24 and then the frame size we want to flip. So right now it's 1920 by 1080. We want to make that 1080 by 1920. OK, the square pixels we can set at one. We don't need to worry about anything else. Let's go ahead and press OK. You will get this notification um, that says, you know, we have previous uh, previews, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada. Um, go ahead and press OK. All right. So as you guys can see now, our actual video has become horizontal. Right. So we're looking it's looking promising. This is exactly what we want for TikTok. And now what you can do if you haven't already edited the video is you can come in and you can change each specific um, frame or clip in your project to fit full screen within TikTok. OK, so, for example, I could boost this clip up so that the size of this underwater guy, um, you know, fits perfectly for TikTok. One thing to note is TikTok does have different space bars. So usually the bottom eighth of the video is taken up by the title and other things. There are some emoji icons on the right. Now, all of that might change depending on TikTok's UI, right? But for the most part, the top, you know, portion of the video is clean. I have actually seen some good results on TikTok. Um, you know, hundreds of thousands of views from posting videos that have black bars on the top and bottom. You would think that that wouldn't work as well, um, but testing it out worked really well for a lot of clients that I've worked with. OK, so we can change the position of each individual clip. If you're working with an already exported video like this one that I just dragged in that has all these different edits in there. Well, what you can do is you. It's a little bit tedious, but you can come, you know, within the video and recreate those edits. So we have a shot here, for example, that's going to be different than the shot before it. Right. Like one of these. And we can come grab our razor tool and clip each individual section. So we want to make a clip right there, for example. And then we can change the size of each one of these clips and position of each one of these clips so that they perfectly fit right within our um, timeline. So this one's going to look a little bit different. The position is going to be a little bit different. And then when we play that back, well, we're going to be able to see, you know, the entire video um, and it's going to play perfectly with our dimensions. All right. So let's say we just wanted to export this little clip. All right. This little swim clip, um, you know, for ourselves or for a client. Well, we can go ahead and, you know, chop whatever section we want to export and we can delete everything else in our timeline if you would like to. Um, but the key thing is once you have your section of video that you want to export for TikTok, again, that should be 
ideally less than 38 seconds, but it can be up to a minute for TikTok. We've seen best results in that 38 second range. We want to highlight um, our total clip, all right, by pressing I on the first frame and O on the last frame, or um, pressing X. And if you press X, it will bring up these these um, cursors and your job is to select what portion of your video you want to fully export and once we've done that we're going to come up to file we're going to come down to export and click on media or you can press Control m and it will pop up this export window okay now this is the important aspect of exporting videos for tiktok okay we want to make sure that our video is now horizontal. I mean vertical. It was horizontal. We want to make sure that it's vertical. Okay. We can scroll down within the video settings here and we can change the megabyte. All right. So here it says the target bit rate in megabytes is 10. Okay. We can change that to make it a little higher quality and it will change the estimated file size. Okay, so that's the important thing to know. If you are going to be sharing these files, keeping them under 25 megabytes will allow you to share them through Gmail um, or easily through you know, text, for example, but um, it will be slightly lower in quality. If you're shooting a video in HD, probably keep it around you know, 10. If you're shooting it in 4K, you can bump it up a little bit. But again, we're looking at that estimated file size and the goal is to maintain quality while keeping that file size as low as possible. All right, your output name, this is where you're gonna be able to save this video and you can save it to whatever folder you want just by clicking on it, you can retitle it and save it. And then up at the top, we can set our settings to H.264. Uh, that is gonna be a .mov file, M or .mp4 file. If we want it to be dot, uh, .mov, we can export in QuickTime. Um, and that is going, I do not recommend doing that. That is going to make our settings slightly different and we're gonna need to come in and we're gonna need to change the actual um, dimensions of everything again, all right? So I recommend H.264. Um, for all you iMac lovers that want a dot .mov file, you can export it in QuickTime and then come into the video settings and change the aspect ratio, okay? And then all you're gonna do, you wanna click on this use maximum render quality icon and go ahead and click on export, okay? And once you click on export, it's going to start encoding the clip. And once it's finished encoding, you can now email that to yourself. You could upload it to Dropbox, which we have separate tutorials on on the YouTube channel. Um, and then you can go ahead and post that on TikTok. All right. So that's how you resize and export videos for TikTok within Premiere Pro.